Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn off private browsing on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, if we open up the Safari app here, I'm on my iPhone, you can do these exact same steps if you're on an iPad or if you're on a Mac computer. You'll see it says private browsing in Safari. The key is, is that when you have these private tabs, they don't appear in your history. These tabs won't be shared with any other devices and it won't keep track of the history of any websites you visited. However, you can know that you're in private browsing because at the very bottom here, you can see around support.apple.com, it is grayed out. That is an indication I'm in private browsing mode. If I open up a new tab, you'll see private browsing at the top. Safari is designed for privacy. It won't remember pages you visit, search history, autofill, all that stuff. Again, I'm in that private browsing. There are a couple different ways to exit out of this. One is you can tap on those two squares at the bottom right. Now, the first thing I would recommend doing before you exit private browsing is just to close all of these windows. So now that I've closed those windows, you can see to the right of where it says private, it says one tab. I can tap on that and I have switched out of private browsing just to normal. You'll see at the very bottom here, you'll see the basically address bar is not that dark gray, indicating that I'm no longer in private browsing mode. Another option you have is just to hold down those two squares at the bottom right. And if you are on private here, you can hold them down and then tap on one tab here or the other tab, anything that says not private, basically it will switch you over to that other option that is not private browsing. Keep in mind, again, I would recommend going into your private browsing and removing or closing all of those windows before you switch out of them, just for extra precaution. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out, and I'll catch you on the next one.